Our objective is to acquire intel on important strategic targets for our bombers in Palermo and Naples. Acquire the intel and get it transmitted to HQ. Alrighty, so today I have something really cool to show you folks. It is a soldier getting a punty over a wall. No, it's not. It is the new war map included in DLC 2 for Call of Duty World War 2, Operation Husky. And is that... Uh, allied soldier disposes of the enemy soldier keeping watch I just have to make a quick disclaimer that I was flown out to California by Activision and Sledgehammer Games and my hotel was paid for so I could go and capture this gameplay for you but I am under no obligation to provide you with positive opinions etc about uh, the DLC these are my actual opinions that I've gathered after playing uh, these maps including Operation Husky as you're watching right now and on this new war map there are trip mines which the defendant team can place and just be careful that you don't blow up your your <laughs> teammates as you're trying to protect them yeah that that kind of backfired on me and i don't know what this guy was up to with the shovel to be quite honest i'm playing up against uh, some pretty big youtubers so this was this was quite tough for myself but in this gameplay you will see some pretty aggressive objective plays uh, as you'd expect from myself at this point surely that's you know that's how i roll and uh, that's a another trip mine uh been taken care of but look at look how aggressive I'm trying to collect these pieces of intel there's three to collect in the first stage of this war map and you have to bring it back to your own base and as one teammate goes down I pick up the piece of intel but then you see I also go down but my teammate is there to pick up the pieces some high quality <laughs> teamwork there and you'll see we actually got that objective completed pretty rapid everyone was in the top of their game I think this was the second match we played uh, of this map so I guess we've we kind of uh, got to grips with the map at this point and uh, you'll notice that the, the attacking team also gets molotovs for that first objective which is pretty effective for clearing out the enemy base but on the second objective we have to capture this radio station which is uh, transmitting coordinates for something you, you may, may or may not know what's coming up after this if you successfully capture the radio station it is quite a bit different for anything we've ever seen in Call of Duty but I'll, I'll focus on what we're, we're doing right now and we actually, despite our performance in the first part of this uh, war map, we were struggling to capture this radio station. Look, we're barely over 50% with less than 20 seconds to go, but you know, I had to you know, break out the, the sweat. If I wasn't sweating already, you think I sweat here in Scotland hard? Never mind sweating out in California. Um, yeah, I genuinely had a problem with staying hydrated for the duration of this trip. Uh, the <laughs> objective gameplay probably didn't help <laughs> this situation. But uh, yeah, we do eventually get the, the radio station captured. My teammates, again, were on the top of their game. And once that is captured, then we are then... We then find ourselves in the cockpit of a fighter plane and in the middle of a dogfight. Now, this is something totally out there for Call of Duty. When, this, when we first get put into this objective, the entire, like... Every single YouTuber there just went, oh. <laughs> and I just want to say, just don't be, don't get it mistaken. That I, it may look as if I had the hang of this right here. I'm, I'm shooting down these, these enemy planes, but the, the first time I was so bad. <laughs> the, the boundaries uh, of where you can fly about up in this uh, objective are a little strange to get used to, to be honest. Uh, you can just often find yourself flying out uh, of the play zone and your, your plane just, just gets blown up. Uh, and I think it does actually count towards the, the planes that are remaining. Uh, you both start off with 25, I think, and obviously whoever's got the fighter pilots left and the sky at the end wins. But yeah, this is, honestly, this was really, really fun. Uh, once you get the hang of it, and I, <laughs> I'm actually getting a bit motion sick there, I'm saying it's fun, but I'm getting motion sick there as I'm trying to figure out which way is up or down or which way is pointing towards the ground. But uh, yeah, honestly, this was... It's just so refreshing to see Call of Duty try something different and also once you get four kills like you see me get there you get either a fighter pilot or flat guns I believe it. We couldn't quite figure it out exactly. Uh, obviously fighter pilot kill streak means that you just get more uh, allied uh, friendly fighter pilots to come and help you. As you can see I'm, I'm flying out of the combat zone there and about to get blown up. Yep. But uh, yeah you can also get flat guns as well which means if the enemy's flying to that they're toast. So that's also pretty cool. But I, I can see Operation Husky when it finally gets put into the full rotation being very popular just because of this this final objective. And as you can see, my plane is... I don't know how it's still going at this stage. And there's some, some planes with no names. Now, that could either be your fighter pilots, like your killstreak ones, uh, or the, the enemy ones. 
Uh, it does take a, a wee, like a few games just to to understand all the different uh, features. Like as you can see, I'm, I'm flying into the flat guns at the moment as well. Uh, I believe they're friendly though, so that's why they didn't damage me. And uh, yeah, it just I, like I say, it was going to take you a few times just to get uh, the flying down. Uh, it's it's pretty simple, but at the same time, you want to try and figure out some evasive manoeuvres. The guy screams in your ear, <laughs> evasive manoeuvres, there's someone on your six. And uh, the, the most I could really pull off was backflips at the time, which kind of got me nowhere. <laughs> but after a while, you kind of figure out how to shake someone off and uh, flip the fight on its head. And, and line up the shots as well as I'm doing here. This person's hanging on by a thread. It should be dealt with in a second. Come on, yeah, enemy six, shake him off. I've just been told right there, but I'm too busy focused on this plane in front of me. I get them, but I'm also barely hanging on at this point. But there's the vase of manoeuvre right there. I knew it was coming up. The little flip and uh, change direction at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically uh, a fully qualified pilot at this stage, and that's it. We won once all the enemy fighters are down. That is it. That is victory. And I just want to see my final score here because I reckon I did pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> that is so vain. But yeah, as you can see when you win, uh, the friendly bombers get through and uh, fly through safely. 24 kills, 3,145 score. Keep alert. Our men have spotted allied activity in the area. We must defend our position. Now we're on to the defending side. I actually played the defending side first uh, on this gameplay. It's the same uh, players, same uh, game, but I just wanted to show you the attacking side first because of that crazy uh, playing objective. Here's the t trip, I'm tripping over my words, the tripwire uh, feature on this side. You just line it up uh, against the, the doorway, against the entrance there. I mean, when the first time I played this, I was planting these all around the back entrances that the enemy can't even get to, uh, which is kind of pointless because uh, you only have a finite amount, it's not unlimited. Uh, and of course, like, at the start of uh, the video I showed you, the enemy's trying to steal these three intel pieces, but that's not going to happen. I'm not going to allow that to happen because the objective um, is the be-all and the end-all for me, you know that. It's literally, it's probably quite sad how seriously I take the objective, even at a, a capture event. I mean, I'm 10,000 uh, miles, no, not 10,000 miles, 10,000 kilometers, 5,000 miles away from home, and I'm still hitting the objective. <laughs> Man, I'm actually such a sweat, it's unreal. But uh, yeah, my overall thoughts on this new warm-up, I really did enjoy it. Uh, especially the play mission, I can't say that enough. Um, it's really fast-paced, uh, to be honest. I didn't at any part feel like it was it was slowing down, especially on the attacking side. On the defensive side, you can slow it right down here. Especially if they're looking for one final piece of intel. Uh, you'll see I do get my camp on and just shut up shop these guys are not getting this final piece of intel <laughs> you can see it there but on the attacking side you can really play it at 100 miles an hour uh, the way the, the intel just drops on the ground when you die it doesn't get reset back unless the the enemy team gets over the intel and resets it themselves but yeah i really enjoyed this warm-up like i say and uh, i think you uh, players who like to play fast i think will really enjoy uh, this Operation Husky and if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like on it It is very much appreciated and also you might be new around here if you're trying to check out the new DLC uh, And if you enjoyed this video too Why not hit that subscribe button and possibly become part of the notification squad by hitting that wee bell icon when you subscribe to the channel uh, <laughs> This final scene is actually quite brutal by the way Make sure you capture the objective and don't end up on the wrong side of that firing squad <laughs> But anyways have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye